Uh, I'm stoked to be here because uh, I, I had a tough time uh, during lockdown. I had a tough time, particularly during that hour of like forced exercise, you know, like. <laughs> I, I had a tough time because being a mulleted man who's a bit of a bogan, right, as soon as I left the house, people were either assuming I was going to or coming from an anti vax rally. <laughs> It's like, can't a man hold a beer and a flare at 8 a.m. in the morning anymore? <laughs> too many fucking rules, you know? Uh, but uh, during lockdown, uh, me and my girlfriend, uh, we decided to get a dog together, uh, which was pretty nice. Uh, she got to choose it, so, um, yeah, we've got a cat now. Um, <laughs> we've got a cat called Merv, right? He's a bit of a weapon. But right, as soon as you say to the people, you've got, you got an animal, they're like, oh, my God. Oh my God, is it a rescue? Is it a rescue animal? Did you save it? It's like, nah. <laughs> nah, it's paid full price, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, do you know how hard it was to get a rescue animal during a global pandemic? There was like two dogs left at the RSPCA. And I've never said this about a dog. They were both shit dogs, you know? <laughs> it was like a greyhound that had never won a race before and a pit bull that had more trauma than my granddad and he's been in two world wars, you know? <laughs> or I'll grab the pit bull with flashbacks, thanks, you know? <laughs> Just in the middle of the night. Ah! Ah! Get it off me! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Is it a rescue? Every animal is a rescue animal. Have you ever been to a breeder's house before? <laughs> There's like 17 Alaskan Malamutes in a two bedroom apartment with no air conditioning. It's like, who is the real hero? The person who got a free dog? or the dickhead that spent two and a half grand on a hairless cat that molts everywhere. <laughs> but right, before we got Merv, I didn't realise you have to audition to have a rescue dog or animal. I just thought, you got a roof, you got a dog, right? <laughs> Not the case. This lady came over, they got a monitor you, we had the greyhound over, uh, and she was monitoring us with the greyhound. And at the end of the week, she sent us an email saying, we found a more suitable couple for that dog than you. <laughs> Which was a nice way of her saying, we don't trust you not to race that greyhound. Because <laughs> <laughs> the last time that greyhound saw someone who looks like me, it was definitely shaking the cage, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, come on, mate, one more win and Dad's getting a new jet ski, you know? <laughs> just, right, man, like, we didn't end up getting the rescue animal, so now I get, I get wound up. I get wound up, I get emotional, right? If I, I've got Merv, I'm happy, right? But if I see someone else with a rescue greyhound, I go crazy, right? They're walking around, they've got their greyhound, you know, they're patting themselves on the back, you know? I'm a real hero, they're wondering where the Victoria Cross is missing from the shirt, you know? <laughs> I see him from a distance, right? That could have been my happiness. I just start yelling. I'm like, oi, oi, is that Magic Mike? <laughs> Race seven, Bendigo, that fuck owes me money. Just start, start running after him and the dog. I oh, now can fucking run, can it? Yeah, I'm a psycho. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, I've been Brett Blake, thank you.